So I made it halfway through quarantine. It is day seven out of day 14. So I still have seven more days, but it's been a interesting process or interesting seven days. I can definitely see why Italy is kind of doing really well with this COVID-19 and the US and California are sucking at it. It gives me a different perspective. In California, we didn't really have a quarantine. We had stay-at-home measures. And with that, I was still able to go walk my dog. I was able to go for a run. My sister and I could go to the grocery store almost every day or whenever we felt like it. And we still could go to the beach until they closed it down for a couple of days. But um, it was pretty, pretty lax there in Orange County for the stay-at-home measures. Coming here to Italy and having to do this quarantine, I see how difficult it was for my friends and my teammates out here, but I also see again why um, there's a difference after the kind of the peak of COVID. Here, the girls were not able to go to the store any day. They had to go according to their last name. So like kind of like alphabetical order or something. So you had designated days to go to the grocery store. You could not go for a run or a walk. I think if you had a dog, you could walk him for maybe 10 minutes stuff like that and so they were not able to leave and I get it I get the mentality you have to have for that because I am losing my mind in here and it's only been seven days I came here thinking I'd be able to work out do some kind of rehab type exercises here in my place and it's kind of too small to do that I can't even really do a plank without being squished I can't expand but um so it's hard. It's very difficult. I kind of thought my teammates would be a little more positive or hos like have more hospitality. I don't know. For me, I have some good friends on the team and only one person actually has come to see me. Not see me, but like from a distance. They brought me pizza, which was fantastic. But other than that, it's been just myself and that's been hard. The organization, the team that I work for has been great though. They've brought me groceries. Like I said, they've anything that I've needed, they've, they've come and kind of helped and rescued me. The air conditioning was out for a couple days and they called the owners of where I'm staying and had that figured out. They brought me a fan. Also the Wi-Fi was out, which was terrible because I'm taking a couple classes online, but also Netflix, like no Netflix. Also, my phone wasn't working. I do not have an Italian SIM card yet because I haven't been able to go. So that's kind of been it. It's been a eye-opening experience, how much I depend on, I guess, other people and just technology and the outside world. And I'm not gonna take it for granted for sure. All I wanna do is go outside and run and play and be on the softball field. And I can't wait for that. But Here's just kind of some clips of what I've been up to the last seven days. I hope these next seven days do go by a little quicker because I cannot wait to be on the field. I have peeked out. I'm not going to lie. I have peeked outside once or twice just to kind of see the situation. Are people wearing masks? Like what's going on? And they are. And they're following the rules. Something again, the United States, California, Orange County is not doing. And that's why we're having another peak in all this coronavirus and Orange County and California are struggling right now, which I don't get. Um, just do what you have to do. When I knew I was coming back to Italy, I, and I didn't have to quarantine at this point, I even considered like getting a hotel room and just quarantining because, or being quarantined, because I didn't, it's kind of sketchy. You don't know the rules. You don't know what to do. So I don't know. It's just crazy. I know there was a team here in Italy that also has another American Italian girl coming out and they were not going to make her quarantine which is illegal and I just don't understand why people don't follow the rules whether you believe in this pandemic or not or why it's happening and why things are rising like there's still something that is making people sick and there are certain rules and just follow them and I don't want to be stuck or quarantined for 14 days especially in Italy but that's what you have to do and that's what I have to do to be able to play and just follow the rules people. I don't know. Anyways, here's um, some clips of what I've been up to the last seven days and I'll try and document the next seven days and see if anything changes.
See you guys. It's day four, four. I'm already super bored. Um, it's actually raining outside, so that's kind of cool. Not cool, I don't know. But um, I haven't been feeling well the last couple days, so that kind of scared me. I was having some body aches. Um, I had a headache and stuff, and I think it ended up being just jet lagged, which usually happens, um, super dehydrated, haven't been sleeping well the time um so yeah that kind of gave me made me a little nervous like ah coronavirus is hitting already but i think it was just being jet lagged again one of the girls the only person to kind of reach out to me since i've been here on the team wise brought me some pizza so i kind of ate good um but yeah so i'm feeling lively today i mean i put jeans on but stuck inside so i did buy something or brought something that i knew would help me in quarantine a yo-yo I haven't used this since like fourth grade, so let's see if I still have it.